How's it going everyone? I'm here with another classic callbacks episode over a FNAF fan game called Finance at Thea's and this one's by Mystical Vortex. Like I said before in the past few classic callbacks episodes, I did play this game before back a couple of years ago and I did remember this being a FNAF 1 experience, just shining lights on animatronics and closing the doors on them if they get way too close to the office. So yeah, let's reset all my progress here and hop right back into this game here, shall we? Here's the menu, Five Nights at Theo, so we can start the game and there's the nightmare mode, unlocked after completing Night 5. Why are you freaking out for, man? Is it because of my grand return back to this first game? Let's get started with this game then, shall we? Here's a newspaper clipping. Polar Entertainment has opened an all-new family-friendly pizzeria after the unfortunate events of December 5th, 1995, where an employee was killed by an animatronic and another employee went missing. Polar's Pizzeria shut their doors for good on December 6th, 1995. On April 10th, 1997, Polar Entertainment opens their new pizzeria, which includes three new animatronics. Polar Entertainment promises that no incident will happen to time. So let's get started with the first night. Survive until 6 a.m. Shut the door when an animatronic is there. Power is limited, so only use when necessary. The classic FNAF rules. This, I remember this. So we can use L1 to shut the door, L2 for light, R1 for that door. Hello? Door. I guess you must be the new night guard here, right? Well, it's me. Um, yeah, you don't even know me, probably. Um, doesn't matter. No, I've not really. for Polar Entertainment for two, two years now. Uh, at least I did. My job was within the parts and service department. That was until the animatronics put me in a lock suit. Now, and I suppose you're stuck with me in this place, huh? I well, guess so. considering the roaming animatronics, I was able to hide how long that will last, since I can't really move. But, but now that you've arrived, they seem to be attracted to you, which might give. It might take me a few nights because my movement is very limited at the moment. But as long as you're here, I'll be able to set myself free. Anyways, it would be nice if you just keep distracting them and... I'll speak to you tomorrow about my progress. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you for the information. As you can clearly tell, Donna and Croc are already moving. So. Hey there. Can you not do what you're about to do? And Theo's already moving around too. Wanted to join your friends on this hunt? Okay. What's going on? Hey. Who's moving around the vents right now? Okay. Get out of here. Look at that. They're all on the left-hand side of the building. Okay, and my power is already at low. Can you please travel to the door? There you are. Yeah! Slightly hurt my ears. First night has been finished. What do you got for me, mysterious being? Hey, it's good to see you came back. I'm actually surprised you did. Since, yeah, I wish I wasn't here. You know, I wouldn't blame you for leaving me. So, about my progress, I... Wait, he... he's here. Who? Oh. What is he doing? I've got to go. Um, I'll call you back tomorrow. Okay, then. Um, what do I do with you? Criminal, 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 
getting all too close up to the cameras. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, finally. I too is done. So what did I win this time? A plastic Theo head. Totally not morbid at all. We can move on to night number three. Hi. So about yesterday, one of the abandoned animatronics was in the room with me. Well, actually, I think he, there's someone inside. He's human? Yeah, it's a spring Kind walk. of. Uh, it's hard to explain what happened, but he's the one that caused all of this. At least I think so. He has to be the one who was responsible for putting this... ...thing inside Polar. Anyways, blueprints I found said it's called the Demon Core. Whatever it is, it made the animatronic evil, which led to the downfall of Polar's Pizzeria in 1995. Anyway, I've almost got this thing off. I just need to get it off my neck. I should be able to do it tomorrow if all goes well. Have a good night and stay safe. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Oh. Well, that also worked. Oh, what the heck's going on there? What do I do with you? off the third night. I've won a plastic Donna head. Alright, what new grave news do you got for me, phone gal? Hello. Good news. I'm almost done. I think we may really get out of this alive. I'll be able to get out of this tonight, probably at around 3 a.m., once really? I do, I'll come to your office and we can office and we can get out of here. This will be my last tape if you hear this. We will get out. <sighs> we will get out. Oh! Yeah, that didn't even work out for you. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and not fall victim to what's happening yeah fourth night finished to do that. Well.
That's one way to cover up the evidence. I see that eye roll, Theo. The end. Hey, there's all the Polar and Theo heads. Just left dormant. Five nights at Theo. by Mystical Fortune, Phone Girl voiced by Mathelia, Theo voiced by Mike S, Croc voiced by Peter S, Donna voiced by the final the slimy IG. Thanks for joining and thank you for making it. Theo and Polar will return. Obviously, do know that Played through countless games featuring them, and look what we unlocked, Nightmare Mode. Before I hop into the Nightmare Mode, I want to showcase off the jump scares first. Yeah, Theo, why don't you come on in? Hey, buddy! What's the matter, scare the mouse? Come on, jump scare me. That's what you get, seriously. Someone's gonna clean that mess up. Apparently, there is a bad ending too. So if we go over to Cam Seven, we see that purple guy head just sitting right there, and we press triangle, and there we have it—the bad ending. All the five missing kids and Willie Nance in that old spring bonnie suit. Oh, wait, let's hop right into the nightmare mode. Now look at that. The whole office has turned red. Including the restaurant itself. And Croc instantaneously disappeared. And that means every one of these animatronics are moving faster than before. Can you please appear at the doorway? There we go. So shut you out. go. Nightmare Mode has been finished on my first try as well. So that was it for Five Nights at Theo's, a great nostalgic FNAF fan game only using the doors to close out the animatronics. It was also neat to see the animatronics either go left or right of the entire building to get to my office. Yeah, if anyone's enjoyed or at least made it to the end of this video here, then please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell to be notified of all my future videos as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this, and yeah. See y'all.